So today what we're going to be talking about is the installation guide on the new Accurate digital readout. When you take this readout out of the system packaging and you first power it up, you'll notice that the power up screen says first time power up, press the installation guide or any key to continue. In this new software platform, we've implemented this installation guide that walks you through the process of setting this readout up for the specific application, whether it be milling, turning, grinding, plus allows you to set up each one of the encoder resolutions. So we'll go through that procedure. Press the installation guide. The first thing that it asks you is what's the language? And if you press the right arrow key, you get a drop down selection of the different languages that are available in this particular readout. If English is the desired language, you press the enter key and then you're ready to go on to the next feature. Press the next key. Now it's asking you for the application. In this case, we'll set it up for milling, but if you do press the right arrow key, you have the option for turning. And by making the correct selection here, you would get milling specific software functionality or turning specific software functionality within the readout. Press the next key, it asks you the number of axes. Typically when we sell a milling system, it comes with two encoders. This particular readout is the DRO203, which comes standard with three axis functionality or capability. But if you only receive two encoders in your system kit, of course you can change this selection to two by pressing the enter key here and then pressing the next key to go on to the next parameter, which is encoder type. Here you're selecting the type of encoder that you have. In this case, we're using linear encoders press the next key. The resolution of the encoder can either be determined by the drop down menu and identifying what the resolution is on the sticker of the encoder that you have, or you can simply move the reader head. And if you have an accurate scale plugged into that, uh, the readout will identify the actual encoder resolution for that particular axis. So in this case here, I move the axis and change the encoder resolution automatically to one. You can also select the encoder resolution again by using the right arrow key and selecting from the drop down menu here. Press the next key. Now it's asking you for count direction. So it's either positive or negative here. Next key. Do you want error monitoring on or off? Next key. Now we're into axis input two or X2, which is the encoder that's plugged into X2 in the back of the readout. And again, you're going through the same process here, identifying whether it's a linear or rotary encoder. Next key, the axis uh, resolution. In this case, I know that this particular axis is five micron. Press the next key. Count direction is either positive or negative. Next key. Error monitoring's on, press the next key. Now we would set up for the third axis input if we had an encoder to put in there. Then we get into the display resolution. In this case here, we have available to us with a drop down key here, these variable uh, selections here. And you just highlight and pick the one that you want as far as the decimal displays on the readout, press the enter key. And then the next key, axis labels here are the actual uh, x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis, typical for milling applications. And here you get a, a drop-down key for all those axis uh, label selections. Next key, now I'm in display two. And if I wanted to change the display resolution here, I would just highlight the display resolution, press the enter key. The next key, the label for that particular axis. <clears throat> now we're on to the color scheme. And here you can have this user selectable, or you can always set it up for what we call a daytime mode, which is the lighter colors on the screen, or a nighttime mode, which is a inverted color scheme that gives you a darker uh, screen, depending on the shop environment and the lighting that you have. 
press the next key here. And at that point, you're done with setting up this particular readout for milling applications and establishing that it's a two-axis readout display here. 